Hey guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm back to answer more of your questions. Now, if you missed out on part one, I will go ahead and link it down below if you'd like to check it out. And before we get started, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's get on to those secrets. I'm kicking things off with a question that I get asked all the time if my kids are homeschooled or if they go to public school and how that works with the lunches. Our kids belong to a public charter school in the state of California. So different charter schools will have different regulations, but the one that my kids attend, give them the option of doing their schoolwork at home or on campus. So my kids actually get to experience both, homeschooling and public school all in one. This works out really great for us because we travel a lot and when we do, the kids just bring their schoolwork with them. Now when I send a lunch with them to school, it does have to be a nut-free lunch. And on the days where they do their schoolwork at home, they just eat lunch at home. So I don't technically have to pack a lunch every single day, but I still make one because I love it. And so I can share more lunch ideas with you guys. Now this next one is kind of a secret revealed and a frequently asked question, and that is, do I make special lunches every day? And the answer is no. I don't make a special lunch every day, but most days I do. Now making fun food is just part of who I am. I've worked with Krispy Kreme donuts, I've worked with edible arrangements in the past, and so I just love to make fun food. Working with food is definitely a passion of mine, and bunches of lunches in general has definitely become a business for me, so even if I didn't need to make lunches, I would still be making these videos. The next question I'm going to reveal is about picky eating. You know, I get a lot of comments from people about, oh, my kids aren't very picky. They eat most foods, and generally they do. They're not the biggest picky eaters, but there are definitely certain foods that they don't like, so we're gonna ask them what their least favorite foods are. My least favorite food is eggs. I don't really like spicy foods. I don't like baby bow cheese. Next up, I'm sharing another juicy secret. In my last video, you guys learned about Lenny Lunchbox, and you also got to hear the Bunches of Lunches jingle song that we never used. But something I've never shared before is that we actually had a logo made for our channel that we've never used before either. We hired an artist to make cartoon drawings of our family that we were gonna use for our channel and our logo, but I just didn't love it. I thought it was kind of weird, so we just never used it. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'll put a poll up here. Do you think we should use it or not? This next question is about the lunch boxes that I use for the videos and why I don't use different lunch boxes because I definitely have quite the collection of different kinds of lunch boxes, but I tend to use the same one in every video. So the lunch boxes that I use most often are the Ziploc brand. And I really like these because they're affordable, they're really good at not leaking, but the real reason that I use them most often is because they photograph really well and they help make the thumbnail of the video look really uniform. I try to make my thumbnails bright, and that really helps if I use this lunchbox. I've tried using other lunch boxes before, like the Planet Box, and it's totally a good box, but it doesn't give me a nice, bright, picture because it's metal. But I am interested in using some different lunch boxes in the future, like a Yum Box or other bento style boxes. Okay guys, let me know in the comments down below if you have any more questions for me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.